Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Challenge. This is Trovidel, and I'm alone again. Very sad, but I can continue on. <laughs> yes, um... Now, I'm probably going to be upgrading my, uh, monsters pretty soon. But this next battle isn't really that difficult, so I'm going to be just kind of moving forward to show you at least this battle. And I'll probably be going back to uh, improve on my monsters. So uh, we're going to start here. It's kind of an interesting battle. Like I said, it's not very hard. But uh, it's kind of unique in how everything works. So let me see here. Right in there. Alright. So like I said, this isn't that crazy of a fight. It is um uh, Well I'll I'll let it I'll let the, the opening cutscene play out. I'll just pick my guys here. Um due to the quality of the enemies that we're fighting, I'm not gonna be using most of my uh standard heavy hitters here, like Heen or the Dragon. I'm actually gonna show off uh, the skeleton. Even though he's kind of uh skeletons are kind of expendable. Um, beyond the fact that you just can't really heal them at all unless you use drain attacks. They, uh... Well, I mean, they're not really that strong. I mean, they have a good hit to them. They're, you know, a, you know, a little bit above, you know, your average, you know, unit like the goblins and the piso demons. They're, they're better than them. But, uh... You know, not that much. They do have a minor range attack called Thunder Soul. And an extra range attack with monster skill called Aqua Soul. They do a very small amount of damage, pretty much neg uh, negligible in the in the long run, but it's something. And also, Aqua Soul is one of those few water attacks. So, if you happen to have a skeleton and monster skill, and you're within range, why not use it? Okay. But uh, we're gonna use Potete because uh, very close to leveling, and we want to get him higher at least until we can get our Red Chocobo. And yeah, I think I'm going to show off uh, the Ahriman and show off some of its nasty status effects. I should be able to hopefully hit with at least one of the attacks during the fight. But yeah, I got some really nasty ones in there. So <laughs> I think I'll be good enough to start off. So let's get to the fight. Yes. Uh, pardon the yawn. I'm just a bit tired. Had a bit of a nappy poo. <laughs> uh, but it's nice to get some recording in. Gob 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 gob. Yes, this is uh, some of the top quality screen rating here. W work. Gob gaboo. Yes, we are fighting goblins. Oh, and how I how I love to goblin bash. Um, it's not really goblin forest, Jeff Carrion. Uh, goblins do show up here, but uh, not often enough that I would consider it called goblin forest. I mean, Schweggy Woods gets more goblins, in my opinion. You tend to get uh, a lot of different monsters here. You get a, just a new monster type that uh, shows up in this area. So uh, I'll probably try to show that one off, even if it's not one I particularly like that much, to be honest. But oh well. Okay, this is the interesting part of the battle. We do not have to do this battle at all. If we choose option one, we don't have to do the battle at all, we'll just leave. But if we do option two, we all get a brave boost, and um, we have to save the chocobo. And I'm all for saving chocobos, but the brave boost is a nice touch as well. Plus, I get to beat up goblins, and that's always fun. Now, this gob, uh, this uh, <laughs> this chocobo, um, we have seen it before. Um, I mentioned that we'd see a familiar face. That chocobo is our familiar face. For those who uh, were paying attention, we've only fought one other chocobo in a main battle, 
so basically a battle that I've shown you. And, uh, if it pans over, he'll get his, his, his action. Da -da. Oh yeah, and there's uh, got Gary on. Doing what he does best. He does not need this at all. Yes, that's Boko the Chocobo. Boko is... Wagroff's personal Chocobo! Yes! We fought him when we fought Wagroff. And that's the reason why when we beat up Boko, he gained the little guest star thing over his head, as opposed to uh, Countdown and Died. Because he couldn't die because he was going to show up later. Here! Alright. Let's lay this up. The one thing I won't like on this map is the trees will tend to block out where you're trying to look sometimes, and there's really no way to get around it, so... Kinda stinks, but oh well. It's a minor gripe. Alright. Let's go over here. Yes. And our skeleton forward. Nothing with any kind of range for him. His uh, thunderstorm only reaches three, so uh, I'm not gonna be able to hit anybody right now. So he'll just have to wait. All right, this, like I said, this battle is not hard because goblins are not hard to beat. But uh, that black goblin there at the top, he can make this hard because he is focused on killing Boko, and if we do not kill that Chocobo. It is possible that Boko could die and we could lose the fight. So, uh, range is good. You want to be able to move fast and take out that goblin. This is the only one who will even attack Boko. Because Boko will hide in that corner. Alright, Potete. Time to kill something. Let's go over this. Right over here. One, two, three, four, five. I can hit the guy in the hole. Let's hit the guy in the hole. Yep, that's hit the guy in the hole. He's the only one there. So we'll go there. Oh, Choco Meteor. Catch! Uh, goblins stink at catch. Level up! Alright, and now we have the Ariman. Ariman has all manner of nasty abilities. Because he's in the hole, though, I don't think I can use most of them. The one I can use is the one from his monster skill. Because if I'm not mistaken... Oh. Nope, Look of the Devil should work, actually. So, uh, let's see. We have Look of the Devil, that causes a, all manner of nasty status effects. Uh, petrify, Don't Act, Silence... Yeah, it's uh, some pretty good bad ones. It doesn't. It has a low chance of hitting, but it does some nasty stuff. Look of Fright, better chance of hitting. It reduces the Brave of your opponent by 10, which reduces their damage, their chance to react, and if you get their Brave below 10, they turn into a chicken. I am not joking. <laughs> you will see that later when I start using uh, Mediator Talk Skill to its fullest attempt, uh, fullest abilities. Um, and then we have Death Sentence, which uh, will put a counter over the person's head, and then when that counter goes finishes down, which is the same counter that you know if someone was lying on the ground dead, um, they die at the end of the counter. The only issue with using death sentence is guest characters will ignore them. So if you death sentence someone who's actually somewhat dangerous, um, the guest characters will not help fight you, fight them. They'll just consider the monster is dead and walk away. Um, the same thing actually kind of goes with you, though. So if you get death sentence, the monsters won't attack you as much. So, you know, it's something to consider. So I'm going to see if I can get Look at the Devil to work, because 46% chance. I could just attack them and probably kill them, but uh, I want to do this. Missed. Oh well. I want to show off that ability, so I'm going to try to use that most of the time. Oh, I should have killed him. Bactarian does not need that. 
Kill Stealer! Uh, that's what they should name that class, is Kill Stealer. Oh well. Yep, there goes uh, our Dangerous Goblin. Ow. Alright, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Challenge, we save Boko! Because there's no way I'm letting myself get beat up by goblins on internet broadcasting. Later!